Welcome to Artscore! Finally, another color pencil tutorial is out. The materials are all listed in the description box below. To start off, I'm going to be using a roll of tape. Make sure the width of the tape is fairly wide, as that will be the border of your lemon. Now go ahead and trace a circle both on the outside and inside. Now follow the remaining steps for the guideline. Now take the yellow highlighter and highlight the shown areas. Now take the yellowed orange and color in the borders of all three circles. Then take the light umber and color in the section shown. The colors used in the beginning of the video will be applied to all three slices. Later on, there will be more specific colors for the bottom two slices. Then take white and draw a line from the pointed part to the center. Now since we have done the background with a yellow highlighter, the white will be very visible on the paper. Now continue using the white to do the inside of the borders of all three slices. Then the two colors I'm using is canary yellow and Spanish orange. First take the canary yellow and start coloring in all the shown areas. Remember to do the same thing on all three slices. Then take the Spanish orange and use it as a transition color between the umber and canary yellow. Also use a circular motion while applying this color. Now with the light umber, only color in and do the borders of the show-in areas.
At this point, with the canary yellow, blend out the brown we applied earlier. This is the point we start adding a bunch of layers and the reason we're not using white to blend here is that because white decreases the saturation of all the previous colors. Instead, the canary yellow preserves the saturation and also works very well with blending. On the bottom two slices, first apply a layer of light umber and then a layer of Tuscan red. Now take the black and only darken up the area on the inside of the bottom two slices. This is to represent the shadow of the slice on top. Now take the canary yellow one more time and blend out the colors we just applied. Now take the Tuscan red and color in the show in areas on the top slice. Use the canary yellow to blend out these areas as well. Now take light umber and trace the shape in the center of the first slice. Then color in Tuscan red on the inside of the shape and lastly, take canary yellow for the middle. Now since the top part of the first slice is not very well blended, take the light umber and apply it for a nice transition. Now take your pencil and make a curved shape on the bottom. This will be your shadow. Now go ahead and color in that shape with the pencil. Then use any blending material to blend it out. Here I'm using a brush. 
If your shadow looks too light like mine, then go ahead and repeat the steps. Then take a white gel pen and add small lines on all three slices. Also color in the small triangles you drew while doing the guidelines. Time for the last step. Take the light ombre and apply it in the shown areas. Then take the canary yellow and blend it out. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.